Do any of you watch your playbacks? Or? Occasionally for uh, specific reasons. You know, there just might be set a certain thing that I'm unsure yeah. of that I just want to, I just need to get a reference. Yeah. Sometimes it's helpful just physically for something <coughs> very, very yeah. Uh, technical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you, you can know, separate yourself and yes, be a technician. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. And I had to learn to <coughs> do that for sure because I also am very critical. So I know that it took me a long time before I could watch. But then when I started, and I don't just mean on the set, but I mean after a picture has been made to watch it. Because then there's so much to learn. And I learned to watch, and even though I, you know, there were times I felt very critical of myself. I thought, no, I've got to do this. And it's, so it's important sometimes. You have to filter mm -hmm. some of your, <coughs> well, your, the responses which are to do with your vanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Other people are not seeing what you see. And um, you're probably going to get bogged down in issues of your own tics and things that, you know, trouble you. <laughs> James, what about when you direct yourself, right, in your mm -hmm. student, shorter films, right? No, I mean, I did a number um, before I went to film school and, you know, with mixed results. Mm -hmm. But I fell into that exact trap where <coughs> I was acting in them mainly because I was, I was so insecure at that point that I didn't want to go out to actors who I respected and say, you know, will you be in my movie? Mm -hmm. And so I said, all right, I'll just act in it. And, uh, but then I was in the situation where I felt like, oh, I, it's just like the James show. I'm just like acting for myself <laughs> and I felt like bad that all you know my friends were around having to watch me act for myself and at least that's what was going on in my head they were all happy to be there but um, and so I would rush it in a way um, now um, I'm confident enough to go out to people who I, who I admire and ask them to be in my films um, but sometimes something comes up and it's just I know I, I, a lot of the films I've made are of a certain budget and you have to be on a crazy schedule and so I, I still act in them. I think I, I'm, I'm pretty good at detaching myself. Um, when I do a movie, I don't, I can, I can take it or leave it. I can watch dailies if the director wants me to. Uh, but for me, it's not about like, oh God, do I look good? I don't know. I, when I sign on to a movie, I want to help the director achieve his or her vision. and so. It's not about like watching them back and say, oh, it could be better. If the director likes it, you know, mm -hmm. I'm fine. It's just so much better, you know, working with, directing other actors. You did like a YouTube video with your grandma. Did everyone see mm -hmm. this? Did you direct that yourself or did you? Well, that was the, uh, that, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> that <laughs> quite a lot of direction, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was good at, she was acting, right? Or was she playing herself? Yeah, well, that's the case, <laughs> that's the case of uh, knowing the other actor th that you're working with right. and knowing, you know, what you can pull out of them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was a quick little thing, but I think I've gotten used to that, like, um, being able to work with non-actors mm -hmm. in such a way that, you get the best out of them. So I, 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 I couldn't prepare, you know, I, it, it would do no good to rehearse with my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of had to give her a little bit. At this point, you're going to say they're a bunch of <laughs> But other than that, we just, you know, kind of roll with it, and I know what to ask her, and I know that I'll get good responses. <laughs> Did everyone what tell what happened? I haven't seen this movie. Oh, it's hilarious. I haven't seen it. Oh, was she... Uh, Oh, there's this whole thing, like, people are scared to see my movie. So, uh, 127 hours. Right, right. So, and she went to the premiere, and she was fine. So, we just did a little... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> did you, when you made Wendy and Lucy, you were, it was kind of a... You were working with a lot of real people, right? Not everybody was Pretty an actor. Oh, no, there were a couple actors. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mixed bag. You don't yeah. know what you're going to get when you show up for work. Like, either it's just... Like you can't compete with it because it's because so they don't they don't manipulate it or anything and so mm. it's so real um, and then sometimes the whole scene winds up being played on you because they d they because they're not really they're not yeah. up to it. Yeah, yeah. I did a film with Winterbottom where he didn't um, use extras at all. He just used the streets uh. and um, it's amazing how well it worked actually. Uh. But he, and he shot it just on a, on HD and uh, there were no lights. There's no security. Uh. There was a crew of about 12. Which movie was that? It was just called Geneva. And um, basically, you know, there was a, 
a, a props department, you know, a, a design department of one person, a, uh, a wardrobe department of one person. A makeup artist was allowed to see us for five minutes at the beginning of the day and then never, never again. Mm. And um, mm. if in the middle of a scene you walked out of the room and got on a bus, they would just follow you. <laughs> and uh, and mm -hmm. everyone else you see in the film is just whoever happened to be there. Mm -hmm. And it's fascinating how many people don't, you know, members of the public don't look in the lens or wave or mm -hmm. turn about. They, I was they, wondering, they, were there people? Oh, they almost slip into characters if they, huh. you know, yeah. wow. they're, not, they're not supposed to notice. You know, just a wonderful exercise in realizing what happens when you, you strip away the lights and the machines and the, you know, all the things that protect us and create an artificial universe and actually just use the universe that's mm -hmm. there. Yeah.